Good morning, Virgo. <clears throat> Bear with me. I took a real nasty fall Friday and I sprained my ankle. Um, I'm pretty bruised up, so I had to take a few days off from everything to kind of recover, but um, I'm going to get back up and moving tomorrow. So I hope everybody's doing been doing well. Um, I'm ready to get into this reading. Give me some, I'm using my Alice in Wonderland tarot deck. Um, give me some cards for Virgo, please. Some tarot cards. Give me a few more cards for Virgo. So I'm a little slow moving because like I said, I've been down, I've been bedridden, so but my foot's feeling a little bit better today. Swelling's gone down considerably. <clears throat> All right, give me one of my uh, fairy oracle cards, please, for Virgo. Energy Oracle. Vampire Oracle. <clears throat> Which is Oracle. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Drop the whole deck. All right. <laughs> Which is Oracle card for Virgo. Energy Oracle. I already did Energy Oracle. Uh, my fortune telling cards. I love the energy that comes from these cards. All right. <clears throat> One more. All right. My elves. Give me an Elf Oracle card for Virgo. One card. All right. We have um, the King of Pentacles. So you have been manifesting all kinds of things in your physical world. Um, if you haven't, you're going to. And, and these can actually even, like, we manifest all kinds of things, even things that we don't consider to be good things. Um, just from um, what we believe to be true about, you know, our world. So I'm really feeling like um, this has to do with money. This has to do with finances. Um, you know, you may find yourself, you know, having more money. And sometimes we manifest money by um, like our paycheck will be bigger than what we expected. Our bills will be less than we expected. Um, unexpected money in the mail. Um, but this could be an opportunity for like maybe a promotion or raise at your job. I feel like for many of you, um, this is what's happening. Um, we have sun. Your sun is watched over and protected as he explores the world. So maybe somebody's having trouble with, you know, um, one of their kids. Maybe you have a grown child, a teenager. I know I've got a few of them about drive me crazy. <clears throat> um, 
And so, you know, maybe you've been having some issues with them and you've been really worried. And, you know, that could be some of this manifestation, too. And this card is letting you know, and this could be daughter, too. And gender is not really a thing. It's just energy. Um, but your children are being taken care of. You know, maybe somebody's lost a son. And once again, you know, your son is fine, you know, because death is not the end. Death is just um, <clears throat> the end of this particular um, human cycle. Um, death is not hard. Death is hard on the people we leave behind. And um, we just return to source energy, you know. I mean, I know it's really hard, you know, when you miss somebody, but they're never far away. They're never away from you. We're never separated from anybody, really. You know, someone can be all the way across the globe and you're still not separated. There is no separation. Separation is an illusion. <clears throat> the chariot. So what I'm getting with this is that you're moving very fast. Like maybe things in your life are moving very quickly right now. Um, you're being guided to slow down a little bit. Um... You're moving too fast. Um, really take time to stop and smell the roses. Really enjoy the ride. The destination is the journey. So make sure that if you are on this um, fast track that you slow down. Because there is no destination other than the journey. This journey of life is about loving, living, learning. Um, so make sure that you're taking your time to do that. Um, you know, I'm getting this real impatient energy that you're wanting things to happen right now. And understand everything that's happening right now is happening to prepare you. So don't judge it. Um, we have the angel of love. So yes, I do feel like maybe somebody's lost a child. Um, and this angel of love is to let you know that they are all right and that they're still with you. Um... Also letting you know that it's safe to love. You know, a lot of times we'll get hurt and we'll close our hearts off. And um, don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself from what is coming. Um, because I feel like um, there's going to be a love connection. Someone coming into your life, um, if they haven't already, and it could be the relationship that you're in now, is going to ascend to a new level of intimacy. You know, maybe you've been having some issues, um, but those will be worked out and you will be um, taking it to the next level of commitment. But you have to put all the past hurt aside. The past is the past. You can't do anything about it. And as long as you're dwelling on the past, um, you can't have um, a happy, oh, I don't want to say future, because I really don't focus on the future, but a happy now, because now is all that counts. We have five of pentacles. So yes, um, you've really been trying to kind of go back in the past and kind of replay it, rehearse it, um, and not leave it where it needs to be, um, past hurt. And you're allowing that past hurt to affect you now um, because you're close you're I'm getting this somewhat closed off energy um, kind of numbness um, so make sure that um, you are leaving the past where it needs to be um, don't bring it up um, don't bring it up in arguments don't talk about it don't focus on it whatsoever just be very very present in the now hunter aggressor tracker provider um, it's a very strong masculine energy coming in. Men are um, hunters, um, hunters and providers traditionally. Um, so I'm picking up on a very strong masculine energy here. Um, I mean, this could be that, um, you know, maybe you're a female watching this and I understand gender is subjective. It's just energy. Um, you know, maybe you are apart from your loved one right now, you know, this this person, um, and they are watching you. I mean, they do want you back. I mean, possibly watching you on social media. Um, but you got to get out of the, let the past go in order for this to progress, because I do feel like this is a mutual connection and that this will come back around. 
um, that is, you know, kind of here to stay. But like I said, I do, it's almost like, you know, this person is just really, um, obsessed with you and sometimes when we start loving ourselves more we start focusing on ourselves guess what that this is what happens because you're no longer focused on them see men want to be the hunter they want to they don't want to be chased they don't want anything that's too easy um and you know take what resonates i mean you could be a man watching this and maybe this is your energy and it's perfectly normal because men are the hunters, they are the providers. We as females, we really need to allow the space for that to happen. Um, Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> um, basically, the energy that I'm getting with this is some sort of surprise, almost like a blind side. Um, so maybe you were blindsided recently. Maybe something happened that... Um, you are not expecting and that's that's the hardest that was the hardest thing for me to give up control because I like to know everything because I didn't want to be blindsided I hate to be blindsided but this blind side that happened is basically so that you can learn to love yourself more so you could learn to love yourself more so you could be more attractive um, and there's something about, and I'm going to try to describe this energy. There's something about being with a person and not only me as a female, I know if I'm in a relationship with a man and he screws up and I'm blindsided, you know, after I had trust, after I had faith, after I had hope and it comes to light there's a certain amount of vulnerability after that, you know, because you've got to make the decision whether or not you want to respect yourself or, you know, and you can still respect yourself by forgiving somebody, leaving the past in the past um, and feeling a little vulnerable for a while. This is actually kind of sexy, actually. It is authenticity. And sometimes when secrets are revealed and they're all out in the open, you know, and you're with this person, and you know, like, you know what? Yes, you are flawed and I'm flawed. But it's very attractive because nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. So that vulnerability is very sexy. Just put it that way. But make sure you still have self-respect. Um, set boundaries, set limits, but always make sure that you have self-respect always and whatever decision you make, make sure it involves you respecting yourself. Wheel of fortune. Everything is playing out exactly like it's supposed to. Remember when I said these things are here to prepare you for what you want, even if you can't see it? So many times something will happen and be like, oh my God, this is terrible. It's just terrible. It's just terrible. I've had a lot of terrible shit happening to me lately over the past week, trust me. And, you know, there for a few days I was very low vibrational. But, you know, we have to be low vibrational when we're working through things that come up. We're actually facing them um, because we are in these human bodies having human experiences um, and our ego is used to get things done. Yes, you know, there's soul power behind it, but, you know, we have human emotions, we have human fears, we have things that have to be dealt with. So um, with that being said, everything's happening just for that reason. And sometimes it's happening just so you can face those fears face them like you know shit I face this I mean you know <laughs> I'm you know I've I've conquered it <sighs> we have courthouse you know maybe somebody's separated right now or um, even 
going through some child support issues. You know, I'm getting for someone, maybe you had a personal injury and um, you've got to go to court for that. Um, everything is going to work out in your favor. Um, that is the that is what I just channeled. So whatever is going on with you court wise, I'm getting for someone, maybe it's IRS issues, something real official. Um, it's all going to work out in your favor. You just have to have faith. That information just came through to me just now. You just have to have faith. All right, we have seven of wands. Um, this is, I really consider this the resistance card, that kind of um, paddling upstream. I'm really resisting everything that happens. No matter what it comes up in your life, I don't give a damn what it is. If your car breaks down, if you get fired, you know, your partner cheats on you, I don't care what it is. Don't resist it. Do not resist it. Um, you know, accept it. Be like, you know, I mean, what can you do? It, ha it happens. It happens. Tell yourself it is what it is. I can't see it now, but this happened for a reason. Um, and don't resist it. You know, and it's all right to feel the feelings that come with it. Um, but don't stay down. Don't stay down. And remember, you cannot lose what is yours by divine right, for it'll be replaced. It'll be restored to you with something better. And um, we have vitality, health, and energy. So make sure you are saving your energy for what matters. Um, stop spreading yourself thin and using your energy for worry and stress and anxiety because it'll drain you. Um, if you learn to be unbothered by things, regardless of what happens, you will have this vitality and this health and this youth and this energy. And you can use this to manifest what you want in your life. Um, this is very important. So make sure um, that you're using your energy wisely. Don't let anybody else suck your energy dry either. Negative people. Um, you know, if you work in customer service, that can be very tricky. Don't, don't let people get under your skin. Learn to be very unbothered. I'm going to pull one of these self-compassion cards. Invoking presence. Didn't I just say that? Bring to mind someone who loves you or who has loved you. This can be a pet or a person. Notice how this feels in your body. Allow their presence to ebb and flow for three breaths. You can also do this to connect to your higher self. Really connect to um, and understand your higher self is um, the observer of your thoughts, not the thinker. Not the person feeling the feelings, but the person observing the feelings, observing the thoughts. So if you can learn to be the observer, you can connect to your higher self and pretty much then you can manifest anything that you want. Um, you know, sometimes we go through shit storms and it's because um, you're clearing out things that are not for you. And we have attachments and they can be painful. Um, so try not to um, resist. All right. Well, thank you. If you would like to know what is blocking you in areas of your life manifesting things, um, those personal readings are $40 right now. I'll include in the description of the video my email address. And also be sure and stop by and like my new Facebook page. Thank you for watching, Virgo.